Hello everyone, we are here at REI 2024 and today we have Mr. Anurag Garg, CEO of Jackson Solar. Could you share the story behind how your business journey began? Okay, so Jackson Solar, if I talk, uh, no, we started manufacturing solar modules around 2016. So let's say around eight years back. And But if you talk about solar as such, we started EPCs, business around 2013 and we started with you know initial technology of poly modules uh, which was actually prevalent at that point of time and with a small capacity of 80 uh, megawatt of manufacturing using even at that point of time i will say state of art uh, equipments we start, then started manufacturing the mono uh, cells using mono cells the modules which were around 400 5 watt 440 watt and we were the first one to actually start manufacturing the uh, monoperk modules which was Helia series and we got it tested for the highest rating at that point of time which was around uh, no, 560 watt peak if I am not wrong and we have been supplying this uh, since 2022 to our customers in India length and breadth you know, B, it not west south both for rooftop for IPPs, for EPCs, and we supplied large part to the uh, Jal Jeevan mission of Government of India. Uh, now, uh, again, to coming back to the, you know, keeping in pace with the latest technology, we have now even started manufacturing the top one cell modules, which is the, you know, what we are talking. And we are among the few in India actually making these modules using the top one cells. So this also, we have a, good order book of the modules using Topcon cells uh, right now and we are very thankful to our customers and we are happy with the order book situation which we have right now and in fact this demand and this acceptability of our brand has actually uh, motivated us to further invest in the you know, module manufacturing capacity so from the current capacity of 1.2 gigawatt we will be going to 2 gigawatt very shortly by adding 800 megawatt of a new module line which will be fully automated uh, uh, as available as on date. Uh, you must have heard about our recent announcement in the press that we will be also adding 2.5 gigawatt of solar cell manufacturing which will also be the latest Topcon cell manufacturing in two phases of 1.2, 1.2 each. But in terms of roadmap, we, we think that we will be doing more or less 5 gigawatt of module and 5 gigawatt of cells as we move forward towards 2030, uh, which is the you know, government of India's aim of 280 uh, gigawatt of solar uh, to support that mission. Uh, it will all evolve basis the demand supply situation of such products in India. Okay, sir. Uh, how do you see emerging technologies shaping the future of solar industry and what is your company's roadmap in this regard? So as I mentioned that, you know, uh, we all know it is not something which I am going to say that as on dates, everybody, the latest which is available is the N-type cells. Now N-type cells are having two technologies. One is the Topcon and one is the HJT. This is the uh, reports in the market. The large part of the technology being used is the Topcon technology. Uh, but there's, there is a some, uh, no, some uh, capacity which is being catered by HJT technology of N-type. And we have thus decided to move forward with the top one technology because that is supposed to be you know, well supported by the equipment, supply chain, customers, etc, etc. We all know that the next evolution is the perovskite technologies. So as and when it will come, we have been evolving along with the technologies. We are not the technology leaders per se, but we are definitely the front runners in terms of being first in the you know, uh, country to bring the technology to our customers. Okay, sir. Uh, Jackson have just launched a new product to today. Uh, so, what is exactly and what is its USPs? Yeah. So, uh, as we, as you, you, since you are also you know, following the solar industry, this is the highest rated power module what we have uh, as of now in India. So, it can go up to 630 watt peak. The USP about this is that it is using the uh, rectangular solar cell. So generally we have been using the uh, square solar cell whether it is 182 by 182 whether it is 200 by 210 
but this cell, this module is made using the rectangular cell, which is 182 by 210. So the advantage of using rectangular cell is that you, in the same size of the glass, in which we were producing up to 580 watt peak of top corn uh, module using the square cell, we are able to give 630 watt peak of power to customers, which means more power in the same square area, more dense power in the same space, thus helping the customers to put their solar projects in less space with less balance of systems. Okay, sir. And are there any recent or upcoming partnerships you had like to share? Not anything specific, I would say, but uh, you know, um, we are continuously on the you know, lookout for partners, like when we talk about channel partners, to expand our business in different geographies of India. So that's one part of partnership which we keep on evolving by adding more partners in our portfolio. Otherwise, yes, we have our technical technology partners who uh, you know, help us putting the new technology or our you know, equipment partners, our suppliers I will call as partners. I don't treat them as uh, suppliers. They are my partners. Uh, sir, so, uh, MNRE has uh, recently proposed include solar PV cells under the ALMM by 2026. Uh, what are your views on this and how do you see this policy impacting your company? So I think when I talk as an Indian, uh, it is a very good uh, intention because the whole idea is to promote the local manufacturing in India. The timing may be slightly here and there, but as we hear a lot of investments happening in solar manufa cell manufacturing in India, so it may be the issue of timing per se that April 26 may be too early to put this policy in place. So as an industry, I would say we have possibly requested the uh, government or MNRE to extend this by one year. Because we believe that with the, by one year more, we will have enough capacity to cater to the demand in the country. Otherwise, there will be crisis of demand. It will slow down the speed of solarization, which we also want to achieve while we want to do Make in India. And my last question to you is, uh, what message would you like to give consumers to encourage the adoption of solar energy? I think for consumers, it is the best time to put solar. You contribute to the cleaner environment. You contribute to the future generations by not using the you know, conventional power which is generated by coal because it pollutes the environment. So I think put solar not only for in savings which comes naturally but also for your future generations for the larger part of the environment because we are should be responsible to protect the environment and solar is one of the very low hanging fruits. So government is now giving a lot of subsidy to put solar on the residential rooftops.